Good evening, good afternoon everybody and welcome to the end of season awards for Altrincham Football Club for the 2020-21 season. It's three years since I first stood here and did one of these as a member of the board and then we'd just won the Northern Premier League. It was after the 3-0 win against Hensford and there was some players in our squad who are here tonight. There are some new players who weren't here back then. But just look how far we've come in that three-year period, from climbing out the Northern Premier League at the first time of asking, to achieving our highest position in the conference in the National League since 2009. Just to make a comparison between that season and this season, the league that year was won by uh, Luton Town, with Stevenage Borough and Oxford United behind them. There was only one other club who was in the National League back then, as well as us, who are in it now. And they're going to be in it next year as well, Wrexham. Um, they're struggling to get out of this league. We're doing a pretty good job at doing what we're doing. This has been an absolutely fantastic season in the most difficult of circumstances. And that we're broadcasting on Alti TV, first of all, to our season ticket holders and then to all of our other fans. But in the community sports hall tonight, um, and we wish we had more of you here. We've got our players and their families uh, to celebrate the end of what has been a magnificent season. We finished up 18 points outside the relegation zone in 17th place. And that's a, that's a spectacular performance which we'd have bitten your hand off for back at the beginning of the season in the rain and the, the floods of the Weymouth game. So be very proud of what you've achieved this season. And I'm absolutely delighted that we managed to get fans back in front of us for the last three games. And what a great three games this team put on. It's been a great season and next season promises so much more. We're going to continue to build and we're going to continue in three years' time. The Northern Premier League will be a far distant memory and let's hope that we're climbing even further heights. So without ado, I'm going to hand across to our... Um, Master of Ceremonies for the evening is Brian Flynn, who is going to uh, go through the uh, index of the rewards, the awards that we're handing out this evening. Over to you, Brian. Thank you, Bill. Okay, we'll be uh, we'll be we'll be done and dusted by about seven. Let's, uh, Right, we have got six awards to make. We have got uh, voted, voted by the fans, the Young Player of the Year. Voted by the players, quite naturally, the Players Player of the Year. We've got Goal of the Season. We have Club Person of the Year. We have Managers Player of the Year. And last but not least, we have the Supporters Player of the Year. So let's kick off straight away with the... Um, Young Player of the Year voted for by the supporters and to make this presentation it's our co-chairman some of you in here players will not have seen this guy because he's been hiding away <laughs> in the Isle of Man since uh, a year last March but here he is Mr Lawrence Looney uh, oh, this is very strange with two mics uh, yeah so uh, hiding away I've been desperate uh, desperate to get here so I actually had to apply to leave the Isle of Man to be here today uh, and I think it's probably one of my best moments of the year when the approval came through on Wednesday. Um, although I do have to go back into isolation uh, when I leave here tomorrow, uh, hopefully only for a couple of days but if I go back with Covid it'll be quite a long time. So, uh, But um, um, it was definitely worth it, it was absolutely uh, fantastic uh, to see the players out there today when you've the street, watch the stream in which uh, I must say has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, there's nothing like uh, seeing it in real life. So uh, only one game, but I'm absolutely delighted that I was uh, able to get here today. So thank you. Um, I'll just make sure I've got the, uh, got the numbers right. So um, I'm doing a young player off uh, the season. And it pretty much came down to, to two players uh, who I think took about, must be about 90% of the vote. So in second place, uh, we had Alistair Smith. Well done, well done, Alistair. And and in oh, and in first place, we've got Joel Senior.
Joel Senior, Young Player of the Year, first season at Altrincham Football Club. It's been a good one. Yeah, it's, it's been a good one. Can, can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Um, it's, been, it's, been a good, it's been a good season. Um, it's been one that I've, I've, I've loved every minute of. All the lads have been brilliant with me, the manager, the management staff have been amazing. And obviously, it was great to end the season on a high, free un the last three unbeaten, and getting the fans back was, was unreal. So I've enjoyed it. Thanks very much, Joel Senior, Young Player of the Season. Well done, uh, Joel. Right, let's move on to Players Player of the Season. To make this award is our skipper, Mr Jake Moult. So, uh, incredible, oh, is that it? Not too far. Uh, great award, obviously. Uh, I think a player, as a player, this is the one that you want to win. Uh, there's some, been some big performances this season throughout. Uh, some players that have come in a little bit later who've, who've deserved to be in with this vote. Uh, in third place, uh, again, I think the votes were really, really tight. In third place was Alistair Smith. And in second place was Joel Senior. And in first place, in my opinion, the, the worthy winner, I think he's been superb this season, uh, kept us in many a games, won as many a games, and uh, fully deserved the award, so Tony Thompson. Well, you must have been terrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, no, but um, nice one. And as you say, it's the most imp to me, it means the most, I think, as the players to vote. Uh, no, nice one. <laughs> <laughs> Right, two down, four to go, and the third award is for Goal of the Season. It's been some great nominations this year. To make the award is our assistant manager, I know he loves these sorts of events, Mr Neil Sorville. Right, I, I, I'm going to do the talking on this one because we get, need to describe the, uh, the, the top five goals. But uh, in fifth place was Dan Mooney's goal at Notts County in the second game of the season. In fourth place, a dramatic late winner against Chesterfield scored by Josh Hancock. In third place, one of the biggest nights of the season and a winning goal by Ryan Colclough at Torquay. In second place, a phenomenal moment, one of the best moments of the season, literally a last gasp, last gasp equaliser at Sutton United by Connor Hampson. And I'm going to hand over to the man himself to describe and tell you what the winning goal is. OK, winning goal uh, for this season was the FA Trophy game uh, away at Chester, Joel Senior.
Thank you, Neil, and well done again, Joel. What a fantastic goal at Chester. Also, congratulations to uh, Connor Hampson, Ryan Colclough, Josh Hancock, and Dan Mooney for making it into the top five. Fourth award is Club Person of the Year, and our co-chairman, Mr. Bill Waterson, will tell us all about where that one's going. Right, so this award, um, it, it, I wanted to give this out because it's obvious who the winner should be and who the winner is. And the um, contribution of this individual goes back, actually, to getting us into the playoffs last season, as well as through this season. This season has been a very, very difficult season off the pitch. If you look at even just getting us in a position to get into the playoffs, to be able to play the playoffs, the work we had to do, the protocols we had to put in place, the red and the amber zone. And then if you look at the readmission of fans at the end of this season, which I think we all agree has been a spectacular um, increase in uh, fan and player engagement. In order to do that, there was so much work we needed to do with Trafford Borough Council and around the ground. The obvious winner of the Clubman of the Year is our COVID officer himself, Mr. Nigel Bunce. And in typically modest form, he is not making a speech. Thank you. Thank you, Bill, and very well done to Nigel Bunce, Club Person of the Year for the 2021 season. Uh, just before the final two awards, uh, we've got our friend, good friend, Mr. Sean Williams, is going to come up and say a few thank yous from the players. Um, just a quick one, we've got loads of boss volunteers at the club and without them it wouldn't be, um, it wouldn't work would it? They're, they're the geniuses basically behind everything we do, so the first two, the lads and the staff would like to give a big thank you to Tom and Ryan Spencer, if you want to come up we've got you some ice drink, thank you lads. <laughs> it's Sam Miguel too. <laughs> Ready? Hold that a sec. Just a big thank you for the lads keeping us fit throughout the season. Thanks, lads. There's one there for you. Um, I think we've just given awards out to, to the fellow who we're going to speak about next, but he took some stick this year trying to put swabs in places that they don't need to be going. But without him, we wouldn't have been able to play the season. Again, we wouldn't have gone into the playoffs last year and been able to compete at this level. So, knock off what you come, mate. We got you a drink. The next one is, again, the same as Nights, is that he's been a massive help for everyone this season. He deals with text messages, phone calls at all different times of the day, the night. He's absolutely a genius at what he does and he makes everyone just tick around the, around the club and he's a joy to work with. Um, Paul, have you come? <laughs> Uh, 
Um, oh. This this staff member deserves all the credit he deserves. He's been an absolute gem around the changing room. Does everything home and away, and I think the lads love him so much. We'd love to get him up here. Fozzy, come on, you. Yeah. Sorry, just, bef just before we... It's gone. Just before we move on, so this one again helps out training nights, match days, was ever for the boys. Bushy! Come on, you get a drink, come on! The mic, so are we still working here? Switched it off. Right, the mics are on again. Thank you, Sean. Well done to uh, all you good folks who've won uh, pri awards uh, there from the players, and thank you th to the players for showing your appreciation. Two more awards to go, and uh, to make this next award, as it's the manager's player of the year, it's the manager. Beat me to it, Tony. I'll keep it short and sweet because the players are sick of hearing me all season. Um, re really easy one, this. Um, with the amount of injuries we've had, it's looked at who's been consistent throughout the season, who's produced the goods pretty much every single week. A player who's uh, shone and grown at the football club every single week. Um, he's cleaned up a few awards already, but it's really easy for me to give this one out. It's Joel Senior. Right, Joel, <laughs> bit of a clean sweep. Yeah, obviously it feels good to pick up some awards and obviously I just want to say thanks to the manager and so it's like, they've been excellent with me, just let me, let me play every week. <laughs> they've let me play every week just and play to the best of my ability and obviously with the lads, it's been, it's been one of the best years I've had in football. I've loved every minute and obviously the freedom to go out and play in my position to get forward, to, to just play. I've loved it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Manager's Player of the Year, Joel Senior. Okay, last award to make and uh, this is the Supporters Player of the Year and uh, to make this award, to present this award, is uh, a man who's been uh, a fan a program editor, a director, a chairman of the football club, and he's now El Presidente. So to make this award is Graham Rowley, the club president. <laughs> so
So let's just make uh, some mentions of uh, players who got plenty of votes. In fifth place, he's been top goal scorer for the last three seasons, Josh Hancock. In fourth place, a very talented player, first season at Altrincham Football Club. Let's hope there's many more. Matty Cosolo. <laughs> In third place, a man who uh, every time he shoots, he scores, it feels, and he's been a real, really good addition to the football club since joining mid-season, Ryan Colclough. The runner-up, again, he joined us midway through the season. He's an absolute class act in midfield. Alistair Smith. <laughs> and the winner made his debut on the 10th of October last year at Eastleigh. He's been pretty well and ever present ever since. He's been superb all season. He's getting used to coming up here now. It's Joel Senior. Really is a clean sweep. Well done, Joel, and thank you, uh, Graham, for making that presentation. Right, that's enough from me. Just before I hand over to Bill Waterson for a final word, remember, uh, we're seeing this live. Could you just have quiet for a second, because it's an important message. This, uh, the presentations will be going out on YouTube at 8 p.m. tomorrow, and then for, that's for the season ticket holders, and then for everybody else from 9 p.m. So obviously we've been privileged to be here to see the presentations, and please keep it under your hat until 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock tomorrow, because people want to find out themselves through their own way. So thank you, and for a final word, here's, uh, let's finish where we started. Here's Bill Waterson. Thank you, everyone. Uh, just, just to reiterate the point that um, Brian made, this is usually one of the highlights of the season for fans, and we'd love to have had them here. We'd love to have you all here this evening, but uh, because of the COVID restrictions, we haven't been able to. So please don't, uh, don't, don't let slip the, the outline of today's programme, because people will want to see it tomorrow themselves. But just to reiterate, this season has been a fantastic season. We've had a mix between players who've been with us for a number of years, players who've joined us over the last couple of years, and brand new players. And those of you who've not seen the Alti fans until uh, the last couple of weeks, you've got to see that this team gets behind their players. We love this team. This team has come a very long way. We've got a lot of work to do over the closed season, on and off the pitch, but what we want to do is make sure that we're in a uh, better position at the beginning of next season and that we kick on from here. 17th is a great position to finish, but let's get it five, ten places higher. Uh, we've got the players, we've certainly got the management team, and I, could, I look around this room and I see the board and I know we've got the board as well. We've got a great team from top to bottom at this club, on and off the field. The spectators are an important part of that. We move forward, and we move forward with all of you. Thank you very much.